Diamond Painting with Anxiety, I'm Karen. How about we do an unboxing? What company should we unbox? Well, it's a nice white box. It's Diamond Art Club. Yay! So, um, this is something that I purchased, I don't know, maybe, um, I want to say three or four weeks ago, I can't remember. It was one of the new releases. I was lucky enough to get it. Um, so I was very happy about that. I've kind of been on a no-buy for the last few months. The only reason I bought this one, what, am I showing you my address now? The only reason I bought this one is because it's intended for a special purpose. So you know how I am with those. Gosh, I can't get into this. Hang on. Let's see. Ah, there we go. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Mmm. Nice box. There we go. I wonder what it is. Let's find out. It is, I don't even remember what it says. Wine a little, laugh a lot. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Chances are you've seen this unboxed before, um, but you know, everybody's opinion's a little bit different. Um, this is what I got. To be quite honest, sometimes, the new Diamond Art Clubs don't really, aren't really my cup of tea. Um, I love a lot of the artists that they have, like all of them, and I love seeing them, but I'm not always, you know, lately I've been trying to just only get diamond paintings if there's something I can do with them. And... A lot of the pieces that have been on DAC lately, it's been pretty easy to, you know, kind of stick with my no-buy because they've just, they're beautiful, they're gorgeous. I love seeing everyone unbox them, but they're just not my cup of tea. So, ah, I'm really excited. I know that they're not going to continue to do this, but this one did come with the cover sheet. Um, so I was lucky enough to score one of those because they have said that they're not going to continue. Well, that's really nice. I wonder if this can be reused. Does anybody know? Yeah, I'm super excited to have that. I'm not one of the people that likes the clear plastic. It really kind of bugs me. So I'm super glad to not have to deal with this. Okay. So let's take a look at this. Oh, it's so pretty. And it says, wine a little, laugh a lot. I don't know how, you, how well you guys can see that. Let's see if I can tilt you down a little bit more. I don't know. Hmm. Pull you a little bit closer, sideways maybe. Anyway, it's really, really pretty. I should have you up higher, that's what I mean. Let's see, I'm gonna pause and see if I can get you up a little bit higher so you can see better. Hang on. That took me quite a bit of time to figure out. It's not perfect, but it's better, I feel like. So yeah, so it's really, anyway, I was really excited to get this one um, when it came out. Wine a little, laugh a lot. Might seem like a kind of strange choice, for a recovering alcoholic of 15 years. Um, I haven't drank in 15 years. I don't drink. Wine is definitely not my cup of tea. But when I saw this one, I really wanted to get it, to use it as a Christmas gift for my daughter's mother-in-law um, because I knew she would love it. Um, I think it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Um, She's a bit of a wine connoisseur, so that will be really great. The only thing is, is I was hoping 
and that I could turn it into a serving tray of some kind. I'm, I'm kind of reluctant to make a piece like this and give it to someone because then it's like they have to hang it on their wall. And what if they don't want to hang it on their wall? So I was, I was thinking that I would turn it into a serving tray. Um, I was hoping that it would be a design that I could do that with. It's pretty large though. Let's see. This is a 16 by 20, 41 by 51 centimeters. Um, that would make for a pretty big um, serving tray. With the wine glass being right here, almost up to the edge, I don't think I could like trim a lot of it without kind of losing the special specialness of the design. So maybe instead of the mother-in-law, because I really feel like this is just too big to make a tray out of, um, this may end up being a gift for my daughter because she likes wine a whole lot. But at any rate, I know I'm going to have a lot of fun doing it. So this is, again, 16 by 20, 41 by 51 centimeters. It's a round. It has 32 colors. Um, let's see. Huh. I'm looking real quick. It's right there. Standard Diamond Art Club Toolkit with the pink hearts, two plates of pink wax, clear tray, blue pen, a squishy, and some baggies. It does come with a sticker, which these are really nice. I do use these when I'm drilling. I think this is going to be absolutely gorgeous when it's done. I actually like the colors. I think it'll be a lot of fun to do. What I'll end up doing with it, we'll have to see. Um, speaking of colors, let's take a look at this. It looks like we have a few 80s, you guys. Let's see what we've got. Sorry for the crinkle. It happens with diamond jeans. Wow. These colors are really pretty. Of course, a lot of 3865. Yeah, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five bags for this background. One bag of 310, only one. 150, 814, 129, 385, 321, 165, 127, oh, 127, okay. That's our first baby. Let's see if I can get around here. This is such an odd angle, you guys. Look at, look at those ABs. They're so pretty. It's a nice pink AB. We got three, three. Oh, you can't even see. What am I doing? Amateur hour. Aren't those pretty? Then we've got three, three, four, eight. We've got. 368, 834. I can't, this is making me a little, little more. I can't do that. Hang on. Ooh, and then we've got some 3731. We've got 3782, 3826, 8. 39, 8.37.22. 
841, 3, no, yeah, 3033, 3011, 601, and 3607. So, I guess it has one AB. No, two? I think it has three. Huh. We have 127, which I found that. Yeah, it was 127. That was on the first one. Yeah. 127. 129, I'm not sure that is. Oh yeah, 129, I didn't notice, but it's a, it's a yellow. It's a nice yellow AB that's gonna be really pretty. And then, yeah, that's it. So two ABs, it looks like my ABs will be going on number two, which here in the cheese. The cheese is going to have some extra sparkle, sparkle, and the grapes. And then the one is going to be up here in the wine glass and in the stream of, of wine pouring into the glass. And I think that may be about it. But anyway, so yeah, this is my recent purchase destined to be a gift for someone not quite sure um like i said wine's not my cup of tea never was my cup of tea you know other people drink just because i don't doesn't mean other people can't so i think it will have a lot of fun working on this one hopefully we'll be able to do some whip and chats and um, I did not check Diamond Art Club's um, website for this. I probably will not link it because I know a lot of the new releases have not been available. But if you're interested in this one, you can go over and, you know, check their site out. Um, they may have it available. And if not, it may be coming back into stock. But yeah, I'm really excited to start working on this one. And like I said... I really want to give it to the mother-in-law for Christmas, but it's just so big, and I don't know. What do you guys think? I hate to, like, give someone a Christmas gift of even something beautiful like this. I mean, what if they just don't want to hang it in their house? That's I just feel like that's awkward. Does anybody else feel like that, or am I just being, am I just being silly? Well, thanks for watching, you guys. Um... Hope you're having a great Sunday. I've had a great one. Um, if you're new to my channel, hit like and subscribe. You know, it's usually like my good friend Shanda Panda from Creatively Shanda says, it's usually amateur hour around here, but you know, we have some fun anyway. Nice, sparkly, beautiful new Diamond Art Club project to be working on. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.